reality, that pays the reality that poor countries can never repay their loans. Senator, are, are, are you saying that you're opposed to debt relief for impoverished countries? No, no we should forgive the debts, but that's not going to help those countries very much. Okay. What will? Tax cuts. <laughs> Some African tax rates are the highest in the world. In Tanzania, the 30% rate kicks in at $475 of income. Plus, they have a 20% value-added tax. It gets added to everything you buy. Those, those high tax rates make it impossible to build capital in those countries. So nothing gets built, not, not factories, not roads, not anything. Poor African countries have the lowest wage workers in the world. And yet a company like Nike, for instance, can't, can't, can't put a factory in, in one of those countries because of the oppressive tax rates. Taxes have killed any possibility of economic development. They've killed any hope of these countries ever helping themselves. Helping themselves. And, which that, and that leaves them completely at the mercy of charity and loans. And here... Here's the worst part. Do you know why those countries have such high tax rates? Because of us. To show us that they can raise enough money to pay back their loans. But taxes can't raise any money if they kill the economies. So it turns out that the, the tragic, unintended consequence of our good, our good intentions toward Africa, our kindness, is that we have encouraged those countries to lock themselves into a gruesome economic depression. If we don't urge those countries to cut their tax rates, they will never grow their economies. People will live lifetimes of unemployment. Disease will be rampant. Poverty will be permanent. And children will be hungry. And our charity will never be enough.